Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So in this week's What Did I Get? I have been to Hobby Craft. I have brought some stuff from Craft Stash. I visited a craft fair, a couple of charity shops, and then I had a surprise gift from my parents, which I will share with you in a moment. This lady makes these absolutely beautiful pin cushions. So there's already a few little pins in there. She's got Handmade with Love in the middle, tiny little buttons there with the bumblebee on again you can just see it there really nice so well made and then you know she's put the string through to create that really nice flower shape like the petals um, and it's handmade by Busby's so I will show the card here so this is Busby's Busby's stories children's books and handmade gifts Marie Robinson and she writes books as well which I thought was really nice so her Etsy store because she did say yeah Visit Etsy for craft items, Busby's. So I'll share the link. I love the fabric she chooses. So yeah, and I just, I like things that can be displayed. And I love this one particularly because the way the bird was there, you could really see it. And that lovely bloom there with the flowers. So that was something I purchased. So I really like that. And I like to support small businesses and things like that. So yeah, it was really nice. So then I purchased this from Craft Stash. This is by the Craft Consortium. It's their newest collection. So you've got the Herbarium, you've got the Riverbank, and you've got something Meadow. Again, I'll have all the links on my blog. And those of you that have already seen my pop-up box card that I shared this week, I've got the links to all of the collections over on my blog. So you can always look at that as well. It's absolutely beautiful. If you haven't heard of the Craft Consortium, go and check them out because they do absolutely beautiful luxury premium, of course, paper pads and accessories. So I picked up, this I brought as a bundle, it worked out cheaper. So I got the 12 by 12, two stamp sets and three accessories in a bundle. But I got the stamps there. Again, I used these recently in that card that I shared, beautiful card. And I'll link that one up here actually, so you can just click on that. And then these are all your different herb leaves. And then these are all metal embellishments and they are heavy. There's a real nice weight to them. But they're like an antique gold color or brass, bronze, whatever you want to call it little watering cans, the little scissors and those little trowels there, beautiful. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the papers, I'll just go through some of them, they're coated, they're absolutely gorgeous, you know when you just sit there stroking papers again, I know I always do it but oh, I just love them and I like that they, I shared this in the video but I like that they make the use of the front page so you can fussy cut all these and you've got all those lovely little um, kind of signs there with the different herbs and things. So. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Then I popped into Hobby Craft and they had a sale on. There wasn't a great deal of stuff, but whenever the thickers they go into sale, I always grab some because I find them quite expensive, to be honest. I don't tend to buy them when they're full price. So I've had my eye on these happy birthday ones for a while. And when I went in, they were £2 each. So I grabbed two packs because I think usually they were £4 each. So these are just going to get used so often. And they're just one of those ones that I know I'll pull out and they go with a lot of my layouts. So double sided, happy birthday, party, hooray, wishes, surprise. Just really like them. Love the bunting. That'll look nice on cards as well. And even, you know, these ones. So I've got two of that one. And this is called Hurrah. Okay, if anybody's interested. Then that one I really like. It's just got like the rainbow stripes going through. That's called Prismatic. Again, double-sided. These ones here, it's like bubblegum pink. This is called Shoebox. And again, double-sided. Really nice, tall, but thin ones. I like those. And then this one here, absolutely love this. It's called Grayson. Um, I'm working on a baby mini album at the moment. And this is just going to finish it off perfectly. So I had seen it again before, it was full price. At that point I wasn't really starting the project, but now I am, I went in there and it was reduced. So perfect, I just love these, look, snuggle time. My buddy, little dude, and then on the back you've got Huggable. And then I love the giggles as well. I think that's really cute. And then the numbers, so that's those. Then I popped into a shop called Tiger, um, or Flying Tiger I think it is. And this is just a very large post-it note thing. Um, let me open it, or as it should be said, because it obviously isn't done by the same company. These are sticky memos, but I just thought they were really handy. So they're going to go on a big um, bulldog clip that I've got, but um, I just need, sometimes it's nice to just have a big scribble pad. I used to have a massive one that was actually covering my desk, 
but I just didn't like it. I prefer my mat. So this was quite nice. And then obviously you've got the post-it part there with the sticky bit even at the top. And that's good for using these as well when you're doing any masking. So stamping and masking. So yeah, I just picked that up. I think it was a pound, two pounds, something like that. It wasn't much. And then I popped into a charity shop and um, I did share this over on my Facebook page. So this is maybe Mabel Lucy Atwell. Don't know if anybody of you have heard from her. She has been going for decades, an absolutely amazing illustrator. And um, this is a kit using her images. And it's just, a, oh, it's adorable. These are just, look at these. Oh my gosh. They are just so cute. Apparently these illustrations were based on her own children or her own daughter I think it was but look and it's all been stuck down there you can see all the levels all the layers to it and look at this oh I absolutely love doing these so I'm going to be making some I've got a few projects in mind actually for this something a little bit different which I'll be sharing in due course look at that one oh then you've got the gorgeous little girl and little boy there Again, I've already stuck them down, lifted them up. So you could have them singly on their own, but look how cute they look when they're just kissing. And then the idea is, is that you would stick them onto their kind of, their background there. So now they've got the green and obviously she's, that's no different actually. If you pop that over there, there is no difference to that one. This one had already stuck down. So there's the little girl skipping. Lovely, you got these that you can cut out. And then this is the other page here. So I love the two little girls whispering. They're so cute. And then, like I said, those ones, if you want to add them to their scene, you can. So apologies with this one if anybody's like, oh my God, I want it. Because this is from 2011. I paid a pound for this in a charity shop. You get, how many do you get? You get two of each. So these two more pages still, they just fall out and they're all numbered again, just like the normal decoupage. So um, yeah, I will try and find any links. But it's, it was produced through katiesuedesigns.com. Katie, Katie Sue's still going now. But this is from 2011. Made in the UK. And this is obviously, yeah, the Lucy Atwell designs. So, yeah, I'll try and have a look for you. See if I can find it if anybody is interested. But it is gorgeous. Absolutely love this one. And then my truly awesome parents surprised me with the Cricut Explore Air 2 um yeah overwhelmed well i was just absolutely yeah speechless so thank you so much to my awesome parents for this i have already been playing with it and i've started to you know get to grips with the software it's very easy straightforward um, I've already started, you know, putting some things together and in due course, I'm not rushing this, I will share some tutorials with some cards that I've made using this amazing machine. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have one. I did share this already over on my Facebook page and lots of people, you know, said that they've got theirs and they absolutely love it. You know, they're, they're, I know the maker is out there as well, but I have no real interest in cutting metal and wood and things like that. It's just not something, if I end up doing all that, then I won't do my paper crafting and that's my passion, that's what I love. So this does just what I need. I have researched this enough to know that this gives me what I want. Um, and I'm just so happy and very, very, very thankful and humbled that my parents got me this. I think, to be honest, they were probably sick of me going on deciding whether or not, you know, to get it or uh, whatever. So yeah, look at it, it's just, oh, and I got the mint green as well, which I absolutely love. So yeah, thanks mum and dad. Let me know what you think, let me know what you would like to see and all that kind of stuff, and then um, we can take it from there. Okay, so that is everything there. I'm just about squeeze it in because this is large. It actually got it's got its own home now. It's got its own kind of area um, because it's got the Wi-Fi. So I'm able to, you know, use my laptop and do everything at my desk, and then this will do its thing over on the other side of the room. So yeah, love it. Oh my gosh. So there we go. So let me know what you think. As always, I will share as many links as I can below, and I will be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.